Hi there. In this video, I'll give you a quick demonstration about how to edit the font using Uzine. I'll cover some of the basics, like how to change the font, edit the size, align it, and change the color. Okay, let's get started. The first thing you'll notice when you enter the Uzine working screen is a list of options available on the left-hand side. There's headline, subheadline, title, heading, body text, and quote. If I align them on the screen, you can see each of the options in order. Of course, if I do that, the screen gets a bit packed, so let's work with the subheadline for the moment. Now, as you can see, when I click on the text, a menu appears on the right hand side of the screen. This menu has all the standard options that you'd expect from a font management system, and I'll go through them all now for you. To start with, there's a font selector. There's actually more than 100 different fonts available in Uzone. The fonts are broken down into seven different groups, which you can find under this menu. So for example, under Grunge, we have Acid Label, Alpha Echo, Capture It, etc. And under Serif, you will find the more formal fonts like Arvo, Canadian, and Bango. You'll want to spend a bit of time familiarizing yourself with the fonts, because as I said, there are a lot to choose from. Once you've found a font you're happy with, just select it. To edit the text, simply double click on it and replace it with your own message. OK, underneath the fonts, we actually have the option for the size, as well as bold, italic, underline and the alignment. The font size is standard. If you want to change it, just enter a new unit like I'm doing now. You can also resize the text on your working canvas by finding the edge of the text and then just dragging it or stretching it. There's one final thing I want to cover before I talk about using fonts within your design. The first of these is changing the font colour. You can do this by clicking on the colour option in the top right hand corner of the screen. Uzign has a number of options that makes it easy for you to use fonts in your design. One option is this opacity feature which is placed alongside the colour button. Just select the percentage to adjust how transparent or solid your text is. Now below the opacity button, there are a number of options that let you do things like center the text. You can also do things like flip your text or image horizontally and vertically. Finally, when working from the canvas, you can actually rotate the text to place it at an angle. That's it. I hope you found this video useful. If you have any queries or want to ask a question, please email us at support at ymbproperties.com. Thanks for watching.